It's an inaugural night, something we've, uh, something we've never done before. We've done all kinds of recognitions for each other. We're starting a couple of traditions that I think will go on for decades and decades to come. And the first one we're going to start off with is the Hall of Fame. It's a new thing, Carrie Dealer Hall of Fame. And what, what's it about? Well, the Dealer Hall of Fame is to, um, is to find some people that the best of the best can look to. Where does the best of the best go? Where, where do we go for inspiration? Who do we look to as our models? Who do we look to among our peers to say, there's some characteristics about that person. There's some things that they've done with their life. There's some ways they've treated their employees and their families and their communities that are, are a model for all of us. Now, every one of us has those traits. Every one of you here has those traits. Every one of you here is a leader in your community, in your homes, in your businesses. Uh, but still, there's more we can do. It's, it's a matter of continuous improvement. So we wanted to set something up that is both a, a recognition, a recognition for individuals for their lifetime of integrity and, and loyalty, uh, their sense of community, their dedication to the industry. Definite recognition and appreciation for those individuals, but also a model for all of us. And uh, this will be a permanent, permanent uh, recognition. Uh, there's a special recognition. Uh, you can see we have a couple of um, uh, frame things will be given away. We also have um, a Hall of Fame ring, a kind of like you would see in a, a sporting event. It's a beautiful ring, and when, you, when we pass those out tonight, make sure that you uh, get a chance to, to visit with the recipients to see that ring, something that they, that they will not only keep, it will probably be kept with their families for a long, long time. Um, and lastly, there will be a permanent uh, recognition within uh, Carrier Residential Headquarters in Indianapolis. So it's, it's a permanent thing that we can all look to, and uh, these characteristics are timeless. This is uh, when, when, when our sons and daughters and their sons and daughters look for things that, uh, that are important. That's, that's what these people have. So we're going to start into this, the Hall of Fame. Again, it's, um, it's a recognition of a lifetime of loyalty, leadership, community, and helping others. And uh, we're going to move on to our first recipient, and you've probably seen this in your program already. Our first recipient tonight is Julian Kahn. Julian Kahn is a pioneer in residential HVAC. He's one of the pioneers in bringing residential air conditioning to the Los Angeles and Southern California community. And more important than the dates of when he owned his business, more important than the dollars that he bought from Carrier, is, is him. His, um, his example to us. And as you'll see in a few moments, we're going to share a video with you about Julian, but it's his, um, his meticulous high expectations of the people that work for him, but even more so of himself, of his family. Uh, he started as the Army Air Corps pilot, and I think that might be a time, I'm guessing, because I didn't know him, maybe it's a trade all the way back to childhood, where he was fearless. He was fearless, he was calm, he was confident, and as I understand it, that came because he had a sense that if you do the right thing, the right things will happen. A man of high integrity. Over and over again through the interviews, we heard this is a man of integrity. Uh, this is a man with 100% loyalty, a leader in the market, and um, truly committed to customer satisfaction, to honoring the bid, to doing things that are right, and to giving back. So uh, before we... Um, before we move on to the ward itself, I'll share with you, as you may have seen, that uh, Julian left us a few years ago. His uh, business is in good hands with David and others, and, uh, but it's a model for all of us that as we begin this Hall of Fame and set a precedent, we wanted to reach back, reach back to the beginning of our, of our residential air conditioning industry, look for a pioneer in this industry as an example for all of us. And so I think at this point, Brian, let's go ahead and start the video. Tell you about Julian, that's my most favorite subject. He was a wonderful husband and a wonderful father and a very intelligent man, and it eked out of him. That's the kind of a person he was. He was very friendly, very outgoing, friends with everybody. He had a fiery temper, but he was all bark and no bite. My dad was adventuresome, fun, hardworking. I learned so much from listening to him and watching him and in his not only in his business life but in his relationships with others. He basically took me in as 
as one of his sons. I was, he was a surrogate for, father for me. He was a very strong individual when it came to running his heating and air conditioning business here at Con Air Conditioning. But when he walked out this door, he was a very strong family man. It was truly a family business from uh, uh, David to his sister to, um, to Julian's wife, Betty. We met in high school and he started dating me and within six months we were engaged and within the next six months we were married because he was in service and he was going to ship overseas. When he got out of the Army Air Corps, he didn't have a job, he just came out here to California. So my dad went to work for Gus Weiss, who was the owner of Thermal Air. Thermal Air was a carrier distributor and, and a, a contractor for carrier air conditioning. And so that was his very formative years with carrier. In 1956, Charles Morris got the opportunity to get a carrier dealership, and he said, only if I can be partners with Julian Kahn. So Julian Kahn and Charlie Morris formed K Moore Engineering, K-A for Kahn, M-O-R for Morris. And that was in Pasadena, California. And in 1961, the distributor was Prentice Cor Corporation, as I recall, and uh, Prentice Corporation promised my dad the, the whole San Fernando Valley. And so my dad and Charlie split the business. Uh, my dad took half the trucks, Charlie kept half the trucks, and that was when Con Air Conditioning was formed in 1961. Well, Julian's relationship with Carrier was, uh, was very interesting. I mean, he was um, what we would consider a model uh, dealer. He is what, uh, actually what we model dealers on today. He was a person that was sincerely concerned for selling a heating and air conditioning system and solving the needs of the customer. He was one of the pioneers. That's back when uh, air conditioning is kind of almost like a black art. Nobody really knew exactly how it worked except I, I kind of want one in my house. And um, all through his career, you know, one thing was he was always kind of looking ahead and he managed to keep uh, his integrity and the customer in focus all the way through. My father was always a strong proponent to, to do the right thing, do it right the first time, design it right, engineer it right, don't cut corners, don't ever try to be the cheapest because there's always somebody that can be cheaper. No matter how cheap you are, there's always going to be somebody cheaper. He said that so many times, but if you do it right, you don't have to look back. From a distributor standpoint, we would write programs or come up with ideas, programs, advertising, ways of promoting the carrier heating and air conditioning brand. Uh, we would use Julian as a sounding board. We were the, the um, test company when carrier went on the Reynolds and Reynolds bookkeeping, which was many years before computers. We were the uh, test case when they tried to bring in the first computer. Um, whenever there's been a problem job, that another carrier dealer put in and couldn't fix or walked away from. Carriers always called us, and this is true today as well. He worked hard with the organizations to upgrade the quality of the people in our industry in this area, and thereby upgrading maybe the public's perception of our industry. He exemplifies and exemplified all of those qualities that make someone an outstanding leader. In, no matter what industry they're in, and especially in this industry, he, he made himself an expert by working really, really hard and sharing his knowledge and expertise, expertise with anybody who wanted to learn. Getting this honor has made me feel so good and warm inside because it makes me understand Carrier Corporation and so many people around him that he has worked with in the past appreciated him and honored him with the best of all honors. If he was up here, he would, he would probably, get just a second here. <laughs> if my dad was up there, up, up receiving the, uh, the award, I think that he would be, uh, he would be very proud to get it but he would probably defer a lot of the credit to, 
the good people that have surrounded him, and you know, the, you know, the all the help that he's had from from not only his his hardworking employees, but very um, hardworking distributor, and everybody that's given him all the support that he had over the years. to uh, receive this Hall of Fame award um, and uh, on behalf of his father we invite up David Kahn. David. First, I'd like to uh, introduce my sister, Judy Shear, and brother-in-law, Elliot Shear, who came all the way from Southern California for this special event. And I'd like to thank, thank everybody very much. This is a tremendous honor. I wish my dad could be here to receive this personally. Um, I would like to thank John Waddell and John Bourdon from U.S. Air Conditioning for nominating my father, Julian. And I would like to thank Mike Branson and his team from Carrier for choosing him. Zina Bartle, George Seacrest, and Eric Poland for their endless work in preparing this presentation on such a tight time schedule. I worked with my dad for 25 years. Over that time, he taught me to take pride in every job we did, from the smallest room air sale to the biggest commercial engineering project. If he were alive today to accept this award, I know he'd probably get a little misty, and then he'd talk to you about the pride of workmanship, the value of service, and how every, import, how every customer is your most important customer. He believed in treating people fairly, he believed in honest work for honest pay, and he believed in the carrier brand. Thank you all very much. Thank you.